Mr. Speaker, my system never works, but my seat never moves. <laughs> Thank you for this chance. And Mr. Speaker, I rise to agree with the leader of the minority. I rise to agree with the remarks by Senator Omgeni. And I am reflecting on the remarks by the leader of the majority. Honorable Senators, ladies and gentlemen, we have to be extremely careful. The doctrine of separation of powers in India has been followed by the Separations of Powers Act of India. And because this area is not very clear, we've left the country to where we are now. I, you, who are not elected to come here and be wasting taxpayers' money discussing little things as to who sits on which committee and for, are representing which side of the house, we were elected to come here to do oversight, Mr. Speaker, discuss the budget, Mr. Speaker, represent our people. I want to appeal to the Chief Administrator of Justice in this country, Justice Mother Kaume, to make sure that these kind of things are discharged expeditiously. You are not to blame. You have court orders against you. And what kind of speaker would you be, Mr. Speaker, to be the one who is known to be defying courts? You can't. So if the court and Omgeni, you know, a tribunal when they speak, they have the power of a court. If he defies the tribunal, he has no respect for the lower court, for the high court, court of appeal, even the Supreme Court. So let us be angry, but allow the speaker to do what he's doing. He's been served. Does it? You observe the rule of law? And if, honorable leader of the minority, your attention, if you must quote presidents in this house, do us a favor. You have quoted the president of Murkomen, Senator, Senator Susan Kihiga, and Kangata. If you must quote, don't quote presidents that were occasioned to this country by the infamous government of the handshake. The president you can quote in this house, leader of the minority, is the president that took place in the lower house where the same courts, the way they have done, they stopped the voting or the vetting of principal secretaries. And the president stopped, the speaker stopped, a ruling was made, and the matter was unlocked. So we want to invite our speaker to use the pres president by Senator Wetangula, who is the current speaker of the National Assembly, allow this matter to go the due process, and then come to us and rule and lead us. We are with you. You are with us. You are for us. We are for you for the country, don't come here and play games. Let this thing end quickly through the due process being respected instead of coming here, taking us around, walking out of the house and coming to Kakamega and singing to women over the weekend. Mrs. Speaker, let us finish it here. You, Mrs. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, don't be intimidated by me. Don't be intimidated by the leader of the minority. Walk the narrow path rule of law, there is a court order against you ruling this thing, wait when it is discharged, do your work. Mr. Speaker, I urge you not to listen to the standing order from the leader of the minority. Senator Sifun Edwin, if, if honorable senators, if you have placed your account in intervention, actually even, I'm picking even from the requests, kindly hold on.